Hi everyone, it's Cindy Jarvis with Monarch Mom DIY. On this channel, I share the best tips and tools for creating quality home decor on a budget. I also do product reviews, Monarch butterfly updates, but mostly DIY craft tutorial videos just like this. So if you're new here, I sure hope you'll consider subscribing. for my beachy bathroom makeover. I sure hope you enjoy them. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video where I will show you all of the projects together in my bathroom makeover. Without further ado, let's get into the tutorial. For project number one, we're using three of these small Dollar Tree signs, three different shells, some burlap on a roll, and some white spray paint, and some little sawtooth hangers. The first thing I'm going to do is remove the circle decoration and the little piece of wood that raises them up. Of course, one of them was a little difficult, but I finally was able to get it off by using a little tool to pry it. So we are just going to use the boxes, and once the center is taken out, I'm just taking my Dollar Tree utility knife and kind of scoring around the space between the frame and the backing. I'm going to do this on the back and also here on the inside. What I'm going to do is separate these two pieces so that I can decorate the white square and then put it back together. Here I'm taking this roll of burlap. It's about six inches tall, and I'm just going to cut three pieces, one to fit each of our squares. I decided to have the brown side of the board showing just so it didn't stand out so much from the burlap. So on the two sides, I'm just taking some hot glue, using this jumbo craft stick to press down on the burlap, and attaching that burlap to each of my three squares. Once the hot glue is dried, I'm just taking some scissors then and trimming the excess that is on the other two sides of my square. And again, doing that for all three. Then I'm going to put some hot glue around the inside of my frame and pop my square back in. And here's all three of our signs with the backing back in. Next, I'm taking three of these different shells and spray painting them white. And then while those are drying, I'm taking these three sawtooth, I think they're called hangers, and normally they have those little holes for you to nail them into place. I am just going to use my Fix All Adhesive. Here I'm using my ruler from Dollar Tree just to make sure I get it centered as much as possible. And I'm going to glue one of these hangers onto the back of each of my three signs. Then again, using my Fix All Adhesive, I'm going to attach my now spray painted white shells and I think that's coral in the middle to the center of my frames. And once that glue is dry, these will be ready to hang on the wall. And here is how they look hanging together above our fish jewel glass gem picture in a previous DIY video. I really love how they turned out and they were already that teal color. 
Next project is a canvas that I'm going to paint. I wanted some sort of anchor saying, so I'm using this 16 by 20 canvas, two different colors of paint, some jute twine actually. I end up using the white beach rope instead, and I just printed out a Google image of an anchor online. Here I'm going to mix my paint, and I am not an expert at this, but what I did is in each of my six little cans, I tried to put about the same amount of white paint. And then my idea, because I wanted kind of an ombre effect of stripes on my canvas, is in each of the cans, not the first one, one I'm going to leave white, I'm going to add a little bit of blue, then a little bit more in the next one, a little bit more in the next one. You'll see what I'm doing here. I find this actually pretty fascinating. Uh, just a couple drops of blue and then a few more and a few more. So I'd love to know in the comments if you guys have any experience with painting on canvases. Um, it is a little different than working with wood or the signs from Dollar Tree. Let me know in the comments if you guys are painters and what you like to paint. On the long 20 inch side of my canvas, I had put little marks to have two inches, three inches, three inches, three inches. So I ended up with seven different stripes. And here I'm just doing a pencil line with my yardstick. So I have seven different shades of paint starting with white at the very top and then the actual blue from the uh, container that I bought it in at the bottom. So here I'm using painter's tape and I'm taping off section two, section four, and section six because I'm not going to paint those this round. The first round of painting will be sections one, three, five, and seven starting from the top. So like I said, section number one, our top section, is just the white paint that we started all of the cans with. I'm just giving it one coat of each of these colors, making sure to cover pretty much completely, and then also making sure I wrap around to the sides and the top or bottom for the top and bottom colors. Now those first four sections that I had painted are dry. I removed the painter's tape and now I've taped off sections two, four, and six. So I'm now adding those last three colors between the colors I did first.
And here's what the canvas looks like going all the way from white to the dark blue. Here is the anchor clip art I had originally printed in Word. I had to go ahead and crop it and resize it so that it would be big enough. Once I cut out the two pieces and taped them together, it was the size I wanted to go ahead and trace it with a pencil onto my canvas. Next, taking some of my Waverly chalk paint in the dark brown color truffle, I'm going to use a very small flat head paintbrush and I'm going to carefully, as well as I can, fill in the anchor with this dark brown paint. And here it is completely filled in. I decided this time to just free write the wording for my sign. Um, this is for our bathroom and I kind of wanted the handmade look. So with a pencil right now in big capital letters, I'm writing out the word anchor. Notice that I started with the three letters that are going to the right of the center, and then I'm going back and adding the first three letters to try and get them spaced out. Of course, with pencil, you can erase and make any changes before going over your letters with a paint marker. So the saying for my sign is going to be anchor your faith in God's faithfulness. This was a unique quote that I had never seen before for an anchor sign and I really loved it. So if you've never seen me use these Elmer's Painters paint pens, um, I buy them at Walmart. They come in about four or five different tip sizes and a pretty good variety of colors. So I'm going to use black for anchor at the top. I am going to make that word a little more bold. For these four words in the center, I'm using a blue medium tip. And then at the bottom, the word faithfulness, I'm using white. So once all that is done, and you'll see I used a gold paint marker to do a little bit of shading on the anchor, I decided I wanted something other than just the plain canvas. So actually, my 14-year-old daughter said I should glue this white beach rope around it, and I absolutely love how it turned out. Do you guys have any favorite quotes? Um, that have a symbol like an anchor. Um, let me know in the comments what your favorite quote or your favorite scripture is. I would love to know. For my third project today, I'm using two of these jar candle holders from Dollar Tree, some battery powered tea lights, some of the sea glass and nautical rope from Dollar Tree. And then I'm also using a couple candlesticks that I've had for a while. They needed a little bit of a cleaning and I decided to use them for this project. Now, if you don't have any candlesticks, I just wanted something to give me two different heights. So even if you just had one of the glass candlesticks from Dollar Tree, you could leave one of the jars flat on the table and then elevate the second one. But what I'm doing here is I wanted to kind of go with the beachy colors and this dark brown was kind of, I don't know, it needed to be lightened up a little bit. But I do like the dark brown underneath. So I'm going to give my candlesticks a coat of mineral Waverly chalk paint. It's a light gray. And then you'll see in a minute, I'm going to um, then sand it when it's dry, just so some of that dark brown shows through. To give a more nautical touch to my two jars, I'm just taking one length of the nautical rope and hot gluing it around the black rim of the lid. Thank you. 
Next, I'm going to take some of this sea glass that was in um, kind of the floral area at Dollar Tree where the rocks and shells and glass gems are. I just thought it was different, so I decided to put a few pieces in the bottom of each of my jars and then put the lids back on. And for one final little beachy touch to these candle holders is I'm just going to glue one shell to the front of each of them. Then you could use any kind of candles that you want. I just picked up two of the battery powered votive candles from Dollar Tree. They have kind of a flickering effect and that's what I'm going to put in my two jar candle holders. And here, like I said before, I'm just giving a little bit of a weathered look by using some sandpaper around some of the edges of my two candlesticks to make them look old and worn and let some of that dark brown show through the gray paint. At this point, I thought I was done, but then I decided that middle section just looked a little too elegant for my beachy decor. So my trusty jute twine came out again, and I decided to, using hot glue, wrap that center section of each of my candlesticks with the jute twine to tie in the nautical effect. And here is what my two beachy candle holders look like on the bathroom counter. Here I'll just give you a little bit of a closer look. Of course you could change these up however you'd like. Use gems or stones instead of the sea glass. But I hope you love how it turned out. Now for my last two DIYs, these are very, very simple. So I'm gonna go quick. I found two of these wooden fish in the new Crafters Square aisle. They had fish, sharks, and snakes, I believe were the three animals I saw. So I just chose two different blues that would go with the other items that I've already decorated my bathroom with. And I'm just giving each of the fish one coat of the paint. This was the color that I used also on my lighthouse. That was, I think, two beach decor videos ago. But I like it. It's like a blue, green, gray color. It's very pretty. And then um, once both of my fish are painted, I'm going to just attach them to a piece of jute twine, almost like I've caught them on my line, and I'm going to take them home with me. So just hot gluing the twine and making a knot and a loop, that's about all there is to this DIY. And I'm just going to add them to the decor. I had found this anchor with a little knob at a thrift store, so I thought it was the perfect place to hang them. The last item isn't even really a DIY. It's more of a review, I guess, of one of these little wooden craft kits from Dollar Tree. So this was $1. I'm taking everything out of the package, and I'm just going to put this together. So. Um, it comes with two sails. I will say that I did iron those with a very low setting, but the instructions on the back are actually really good. This kit even comes with the glue. And I did let pieces um, set to dry after like I glued um, these first three pieces. I did go do something else to make sure those pieces were dry before moving on. But this little kit was really fun to put together and I just thought it was the perfect finishing touch to my beachy bathroom decor. I will say when putting like that mast on, you'll want to make sure that you have it turned so that this hole is lined up so that this piece will be facing the back and then the next one will be facing the front. 
I did find that I needed to put a couple craft sticks under there so when that dried it was perfectly straight and then this one is going to go in the front of the cabin these are the two pieces that will eventually hold the sails I did end up wrapping a small piece of scotch tape on one end of this string so that it was easy to fish it through that little hole at the top. All you're going to do here is center it and then tie a knot on each end to make the triangle that you will then attach the sails to. Even though I double knotted those knots, I just put some hot glue on the string and the stick so that the knot wouldn't slide around on the little wood dowel. And then the last step is to attach the sails. You're going to put a bead of glue along the slanted side of each of the triangle sails and along the bottom and once you have that you'll see I'm going to lay it on top so the bottom line of glue is on the wood dowel and that slanted piece is lined up as well as possible on the string you're going to do this for both sails I did let the first sail dry before I did the second one and here's how the little boat looks next to my lighthouse on my bathroom counter. I just thought it was adorable and a great value for just $1. And now, friends, I hope you've made it to the end of this video so that you can get a little 360 view of all of my DIYs from the past three videos in my bathroom. It is a small bathroom, and I put a lot of things in here, but it really doesn't look like too much. I just love going in there now and it's all coordinating and the blue colors are just so soothing to me. So if you see any projects in this reveal that you did not catch the DIY video for, make sure you check out the videos that are at the end and you can find these in my farmhouse Dollar Tree decor video playlist. I'll also link all three videos to this playlist in the description box below and I think I may even create a whole playlist just of my beach decor DIYs. So what do you guys think so far? I would love to know in the comments, especially if you've watched all three of these beach decor DIY videos, which one, if you could choose just one of these projects, was your favorite, either because it was simple to do or you just really liked the impact of it. Now, I did not show this. This is probably one of the only things in this bathroom that I did not make. This I bought on Facebook Marketplace from someone. It's a photo on a canvas, and I just loved it. It fit perfectly in with the makeover that I was doing for this bathroom. And there you go. You've done a full 360 tour of my new beach bathroom decor. Thanks so much for watching today, everyone. Again, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and then feel free to watch any of these other videos. Bye.